So we were all speculating. How come the other cat isn't here? I mean, I know you're the guy with the talent, and you wrote all the songs. Well, no, 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 no. I, I knew you were somehow knew you were going to say that. The other guy with the talent and wrote um, who wrote "Man Eater" out of touch, and she's gone. Um, let's see, where is he? He's in the woods, also in, in Colorado, though. So yeah, is that what, a, do you live in the woods? Well, yeah, I live up in uh, Dutchess County. Oh, you do, but you're not close with. Uh, you, I mean, when, when I say Hall and Oates, we think of like two brothers who you know went well, through that, all that. That would be together. correct. Yeah. Two brothers that live on opposite sides of the world. But yeah. uh, the, the fact of the matter is, you're not crazy about Oates personally, right? <laughs> is that true? <laughs> Come on, be honest. I mean, be honest. You want me to be honest? Yeah, be honest. <laughs> Am I crazy about him? Well, he makes me crazy sometimes. <laughs> he makes you nuts. But do no, you no, do I like John. Man, John well, and I have been friends though? since we're teenagers, man. But you're not friends. I mean, you don't hang out. Together. Well, we're more than friends. We're like brothers. No, but wait a second. You do sometimes not. Sometimes you're not friends with your brother. Hall and Oates don't hang out together. Like no. You guys don't go to a bar together. You don't go and play video games together. You don't... I don't do any of that stuff alone. Do you call each other on the phone? Uh, not very often. Really? So when it, when it comes time to tour, when it comes time to do a new album or mm. something musical, mm -hmm. you pick up the phone and you call them and say, okay, it's time, but uh, it's not awkward that you don't speak to each other other than nah. that? No, because we see each other all the time. We're, yeah. we're working all the time. But you don't like him. Because if you liked him, you would hang out with him, wouldn't you? <laughs> if he lived close to me, I'd hang out with him. What irritates you, you know, about he used to. Him? What, what irritates wrong? me? Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, let's see. Nothing irritates me because I'm so used to him. Do you ever have a non-work? beyond irritation. Is there ever a non-work conversation? Like, do you ever say, hey, how are you How's your family? Well, basically, <laughs> well, I see his family all the time because we travel together. And, you know. He's married? Yeah, he's, he has a wife and, and a really cool kid. Tanner, and uh, yeah, we travel together. I mean, we, in fact, we seldom have musical conversations. How's that? How old were you when you met your partner? 16. 16 years old. Uh -huh. You were in bands, you were both musical guys. Mm -hmm. uh, the way I heard it is you were playing somewhere, he was playing in the same place, there was some sort of fight broke out, yeah. and you guys met each other in an elevator? Yeah. Actually, actually, we were 17. Um, right. Yeah, we had just started, we were just uh, finishing high school and starting Temple University. And we, he had a band and I had a band, and, and that's how we met. And yeah. you said, we'll be a twosome, let's go out, let's go to some coffee houses, let's play some places uh, together. Actually, no, we, we were friends because we both liked Philly Soul, we were, you know, we were both in soul bands. Right. And we, we started we started uh, sharing rooms together in, when we were in college. And we didn't work together until after we got out of school. Well, I see. When you uh, write, do you write together ever, or do is it always separate? Not so much anymore. Uh -huh. You know, it's we always did things separately. Our first thing was we said we're going to be two guys, we're going to share a stage. So from the from the very beginning, it was sort of two separate guys. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, we write together occasionally, and and we write separately. Mm -hmm. So you meet each other at seventeen. You say let's form a band together. Mm -hmm. We'll call it Hall and Oates. Mm -hmm. that, that was, was on the was, mailbox. So we was there it. ever a discussion that it would be Oates and Hall? Uh, no, because my name was first on the mailbox. I see. So it became Hall and Oates. That yeah, sounded yeah, good. Yeah. sounded good to you. Yeah, it sounded good to me. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Talk about that. Didn't people for years think you guys were gay? Like you were lovers? Yeah, well, um, you know, yeah, because like a lot of people in, in the early 70s, we were doing the whole glam rock thing. You know, right, I mean, does anybody think Gene Simmons that. is gay? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe he is. I don't know, man. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, yeah, that, that went down. And then we had some fag from Rolling Stone that... Uh, oh, jeez. <laughs> How much more are we going to learn today? <laughs> that, that, that decided he was going to out us because he made his bones outing Elton John. So right. he... F he basically outed us <laughs> when, when we weren't out. You know? You've never you had were, sex. You weren't in. You, you, and I used the, I used that word, by the way, in a very Darryl, respectful yeah, way. You yeah. and John never had sex together. You never participated. We had sex together, but not with each other. In the same room, you would have yeah. sex with women. Yeah, no problem. Did you ever share a woman? Uh, well, um, maybe. I can't remember, to tell you <laughs> That's the truth. a once. Yeah. Who had the bigger penis? I mean, I, I imagine, you know... Well, I, I actually, I haven't actually noticed. You notice when you're in the same room with a guy and he's got a boner and you're both doing the same girl. You oh. absolutely notice. Well, we always Come say on. that John is a German Shepherd balls with Chihuahua pants. Ah, interesting. I'm going to have to analyze that. <laughs> you have video of you high-fiving Oates while you're double-teaming a chick? Uh, no, we didn't, we didn't so get, a, go that far. When a guy outs you, a journalist. Yeah. What, what do you do? To, do? Do you fight back or you just say, screw it? I mean, what do you do? I, well, it's kind of hard to fight back. When can, you, I mean, that's the whole problem with, with has been or was a problem with me and the media. You can't fight the media. You can't sue. They always have the last word. What you are you going to say? You couldn't sue and say, hey, listen, you've, you've disparaged me. You've said I'm gay. Uh, I'm, I'm a straight man. Yeah, that sounds malicious to me. You, uh, yeah, it's kind of a weird thing to sue for. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it is because you're almost like saying you're saying you're, you don't like gay people. Almost. Yeah, exactly. Right, right. It's, yeah, I mean, I, I, it's actually... What they did to us is an insult to gay people, really. Right. 
That's right. the way I feel. Yeah. Did you ever actually beat up uh, Oates? Did you ever have to kick his ass? I mean, did you ever have a fist? You know something? I'd have a hard time. He was a wrestler. Do you know that? I didn't know that. Yeah. John could kick ass, man. Really? Yeah. So, I mean, one, mano a mano would be a tough fight. He wrote that song, by the way. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, it, it would be an interesting fight. I got the reach, but he's got the, the grappling power. <laughs>